And I wondered why there wasn't any punk rock being played there. And it's had this great hall, a great room, and, and I was told that uh, the staff there thought punk rock was too destructive. And the uh, case concert they pointed out was a Dead Kennedys concert. Someone brought Jello up on stage to give the Jello the offering. Screwed up the floor. By some crazy coincidence, it ended up on the floor. Therefore, that was the end of punk rock and at the Wow Hall. Uh, what year was that? that? I don't know what year that was. So when I first moved here, all the bands that ever played there were really jam bands and hippie bands and stuff. And uh, we opened John Henry's in 92. And shortly after that, the Wild Hall kind of changed its policy. And had Allison Carter was doing the booking. She worked her way up through the hierarchy there, was able to book a lot of bands. And, kind of made it what it was, what it is now. Um, the craziest thing I saw there in terms of a band bringing in gear and stuff was Alice in Chains came through. And back in the day when the stage was on the, the Lincoln Street side, facing, what is that, east. And, uh, the PA system there was nothing at the Wow Hall. And Alice in Chains came in and brought this giant PA system. Which literally sat right in the face of everybody in the bleachers. The bleachers just come all the way down the east side. And uh, there was like no room for the audience. The PA was so huge.